Hi everyone, this is Matt to show and Intro Stats, and today we're looking at um, a problem from my book, Intro to Statistics for Community College Students. Um, the um, We're looking at Section 3A, which was on null and alternative hypothesis, and we're looking at problem number two. So let's read the problem together. Uh, according to a recent newspaper article, the population mean average amount of time people in California spend eating and drinking per day is 1.25 hours. Test the claim that the population mean average number of hours spent eating and drinking really is 1.25 hours. Okay, so this section is all about writing, reading something, then trying to figure out what the null and alternative hypothesis would be, what is the claim, and what uh, tail would we be dealing with, what type of test, would it be a right-tailed test, or a left-tailed test, or a two-tailed test. All right, so when you're doing this, um, again, always start with what's the claim. So let's see, what, did they, what do they think is true? Now, sometimes they're going to give us two views, but this one only gave us, looks like, just one. Just that it, it, the number of the population mean average is, so that must be equal, didn't say more or less or at least or at most, is 1.25 hours. So sounds like the claim is that the population mean average, remember that's the Greek letter mu, kind of looks like a U with a tail, um, and um, that's going to be our claim. So mu is equal to 1.25 hours. Remember, that's hours. That's not a percentage. Don't convert this to a decimal proportion or something. This is hours. This is quantitative data. So we're just going to write mu equals 1.25. That's going to be our claim. Always start with your claim. Right? Now, What's the opposite of the claim? Since they didn't give us the opposing view, I have to sort of think about what the opposing view would be. If this claim was wrong, what would be correct? Right, well, we've talked about opposites. The opposite of equal to is not equal to, right? So the opposite of the claim, the opposite of the claim would have to be mu is not equal to 1.25 hours. Okay, that makes sense. Mu equals 1.25 or mu is not 1.25. Alright, now once you have your claim and sort of your opposing view, now we can sort of see which one is the null and which one is the alternative. Well, if we look here, remember what we said. Claim has nothing to do with it. It's always about the sign. So the equal to, a sign that has an equal to part is always a null hypothesis, H0. And a claim in a, in a, a sign that does not have an equal to is always HA. So if we go ahead and look at that, that this top one has an equal to, so that must be the null. And this not equal does not have an equal to part, so that must be the alternative, HA. So now I can just label them. So there's our null and alternative hypothesis. Um, now, um, Remember, the word claim has to do with what did they think was true in the article. So they thought the equal to one was true in the article, so that's why we wrote, again, the word claim next to it. It's always good to write that. Now, um, now I just have to decide what type of test this is. Is it right tail, left tail, or two tail? So we said that if it's greater than, it, if HA decides, right? HA, if HA is greater than, it's a right tail test. If HA is less than, it's a left tail test. Not equal actually involves, it means it could be less than or greater than, so it's a two-tailed test. So since our HA is not equal, this would be a two-tailed test. So our answer would be, here's the null and alternative hypothesis, and we'd say that this is a two-tailed test. 